Hello and welcome to Railroads Online. This is a new series I'm starting. Uh, I've been waiting to make a series on this game for a while now. Uh, the big updates finally come out with the splines. Uh, so I don't think I'll have to worry about anything. Um, I'm a bit late to the party. Not that late though. So uh, I'm really hoping this series is going to be fun. Um, I really want to just get stuff done quickly. I've got the Ray Rosa Line extended mod on uh, to auto save just in case I forget. Um, but let's get into it. Uh, things that I have tried it already. I tried to do my own save game, but then I forgot to save, and uh, that was a bother. So uh, let's start cutting trees down while I'm talking. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward for this. We, if anyone wants to join eventually, uh, once I have more trains, I will be welcome to join to help out. As long as you're reasonable. That sounds quite quite high over here. Uh, let's turn it down a bit. Anyway. So yeah, we're going to try and do things as tidy as I can. Um, I'm not sure how difficult it's going to be though. Uh, might be changing a lot of things around. Probably. Uh, I'm just hoping not. Uh, so yeah, let's get into this. I'm going to do a little time lapse. Getting uh, the depot sorted. And then I'll uh, be back then to see what to do next.
Okay, so I'm going to start to the uh, depot area. Uh, I'm not sure about this. I'm obviously going to make a loop eventually, but I'm not sure about this middle part, so it's probably going to change or disappear or something. Um, but right now, it's good enough. Uh, I've also made a bit of a shunting yard over here. It's, it's quite small. I couldn't really fit much in it. Uh, obviously, I have done this bit uh, before, but I forgot to save it. Um, made this little crossy bit. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, I did realise after I made the bend over there that this part is straight and this part bends over like that. So I'm not sure how I messed that up, but it's good enough. I think I can actually see how I did, uh, but it doesn't really matter much. Uh, so it might be a bit of a steeper corner here. But uh, it's on 60 meters, which I think is under 30 degrees, 30%. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, let's uh, head on to the sawmill. I'm not going to time lapse this because it's literally a long thing. I have to say that track laying now is much faster and a bit more enjoyable. Um, I wouldn't say I'd want to do it all the time though, uh, but this place is obviously going to change up. We're probably going to swap this area out here um, to make it more efficient so we can go more fast and stuff. Uh, but this whole part, this curve here, it was one spline, uh, which is quite interesting. I've also been using the buffer uh, track piece quite a bit so when I'm like just put a switch down ready for a new track I'm just gonna put a buffer down here all right so uh, let's get to making the track to the sawmill and then the logging camp uh, I think I might just skip ahead to the sawmill and then we'll see what happens okay I'm back uh, after a while uh, I finished the track going up to the sawmill, uh, it's, it did take a long time but I've got to say it's way more enjoyable than it was uh, beforehand, I've spent like an hour doing all that now because uh, there was a corner up to the sawmill that was really annoying to do, anyway, uh, on the way back I did uh, cut down all the trees, so uh, let's head over, actually we can just Hold on the respawn button if this still works. Yeah, so I have enjoyed uh, laying down track more and it makes cutting down trees a little less annoying. Uh, let's just take Betsy up for now. Uh, if if uh, you have any company names, suggestions, please comment it down below because I really need the help. Right, that should stop heating up. Um, so yeah, with... With this area here, I'm going to try and keep the sheds and stuff on this side and keep everything else on the other side. Uh, there's a bit of a room issue up there, but everywhere else is fine. If you're wondering, if anyone doesn't know what that track is over there, it's actually the uh, shop. So if I go into locomotives, then here, you can clearly see that there's the Betsy and it's obviously... Uh, in the world, in the th map, and everything. Look at the detailing at this thing. Actually, quite cool. It's got tiny pistons, though. Number one. Let's see, uh, while we're waiting for this to build up pressure, it's slowly. Let's take a look at the new stuff. So, I know there's paint and stuff you can change, like. A stripe one in this? Yeah, kind of. Kind of a stripe one on this one. Um. And then there's another kind of uh, caboose. So yeah, I want to try and get this one as soon as I can. It's quite, it's quite pricey. Um, don't, don't feel well. I thought this was Eureka for a moment. I don't want to get the Eureka because uh, I want to get some of the newer ones first. But as you can see. There's a new gear one as well. Really detailed. Not bad. It does look a bit 
less detail than the last one, but is that because they're uh, 3D modeling? Dude, I don't know. Anyway, yep. Let's put five more wood in there. Keep it going. Right. Oh, they brought the reverb back. That's epic. Okay. That's really cool. Okay. Let's start moving then. Uh, I haven't actually checked any of the switches, so hopefully we're cleared to go. Uh, this could be fun. Uh, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, once we get to Soul Mill, I'm going to end the episode there. Uh, because... Um, well, simply, I've I've been doing this like for two hours now. Um, so, I might record another one straight after this, but it's plenty of content to start off with. Seeing as I don't know how the video is going to do. Uh, but please comment down below what you think the company name should be. Uh, I wish that was like lined up right. Yeah, the switch is uh, a spring loaded now as well, so that's cool. Uh, when I was chopping down the trees, I did realise that uh, the game looks really nice now. Uh, also, apologies if the video is stuttering a bit. It's not your Wi-Fi, or maybe it is partly, but... Uh, this game, well, used before the, the last ep updates, I uh, didn't like to run with OBS very well, especially with uh, Railroads Extended on. Might just be my PC, but we're nearly there, slightly. Wish I could show you the Railroads uh, Extended, Online Extended uh, map right now. As you can see, it's really smooth. I, I wouldn't have been able to make track this smooth before. Now we are going... I know the speed limiter's not off right now. Uh, I still haven't removed the limiter, but... I think it's some physic... Physic... Yeah, physics issue. Oh, I love the reverb. It's amazing. So yeah, I think... I think I'll be able to progress okay now that track lane so much easier. Oh, you can see some stuff coming up. I've been watching uh, Con Gaming and uh, Cosmo, no, not Cosmo, Heist, uh, doing a new series on it. That corner's quite sharp there, if you can see it. Uh, so I'm going to have to probably change that eventually. Right, let's slow down here. Not sure where we're gonna go. This way then. So yeah, I struggled on this part quite. I couldn't get that curve uh, good enough. So I'm not sure how that's gonna do with trailers uh, with cars. So yeah, I'm gonna get out in a moment and uh, show you what I've done. It, it's going to change in the future most likely. Uh, I might get more lanes up and stuff, but I have um, kind of gone with uh, Con Gaming's layout here. Uh, just was a couple of twists, so it's not. It's not, I doubt it's really close, but I have like kind of put switches in the general area. Um, I think we can loop around back here. Uh, that might be a bit tight for the cars though, uh, this track here. But I think it's okay. Uh, this here is obviously going to go to the uh, sawmill. No, this, wait, this is the sawmill. It's obviously it's going to go to the logging camp over here. But I'm pretty happy with this. I did struggle to get these lined up, so this one was easier, but that one over there, it was a bit off. Uh, so I, yeah. What I did was put switch uh, on one end and try and get it as aligned as I could and put a switch on another end, do the same thing, and then put cross pieces 
here and over there and put a stra track over. But as you can see, th this was the tricky part. This is why it takes so long, I feel. Because um, I tried to put a switch up there, it was too tight. Uh, I've been using a circle mode and like adjusting things like mad. Um, I've been using things like a lot more techniques than I did previously. I, I think because it's just so much easier now. Uh, I'm feeling more confident. Uh, this is a bit of a kink here, but I don't feel it's that bad. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to join and help out sometime, please join the Discord server and just uh, ask in the Railroads Online section or DM me on Discord, whatever. Um, and as soon as I get another train, I'll be glad. Well, you could actually join just with uh, Betsy, uh, help up loading logs and stuff but I am looking forward for the series uh, because it's so far it's looking not too bad it might be a bit messy a bit squiggly uh, but I feel it will change it will probably change in the future if any engines get stuck around the corners or anything uh, but next episode we're gonna be oof, taking a dip here Whew. anyway next episode we're gonna be going up to the logging camp and we're going to start earning money. Uh, but as I said, please comment down below what you think of the series so far. Uh, it is just the first episode. And uh, comment what you think the company name should be. Because I honestly have no idea. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, with that, this is the end of the episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. I sure have. Uh, please like and subscribe for more content like this. Uh, I have been getting many views lately. Uh, which is really good. I really want to boost the algorithm and stuff. Uh, I'm really happy that they added back the uh, reverb. Uh, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.